What's going on, Toxic Gamers? Say it, it ain't so. I wish I could say psych right now, but new cheats are coming in video games. I mean, they already came. What am I even talking about? We're gonna get right into it. Like the video if you love your mama, guys. Like the video if you do not cheat at video games. Like the video if you hate getting killed by cheaters. Dislike the video if you actually love it. Shout out to the homie Rick, guys. Roll it, check this. First boosting, and in my opinion, cheating. This gameplay you are watching. We're going to be talking about two boxing, reverse boosting, and in my opinion, cheating. This gameplay uh -oh. you are watching right now is a two box reverse boosting gameplay. Now, I want to make sure I make this very clear. This is for educational purposes only. You guys no! know skill based matchmaking hey! is strong as hey! absolute fuck this year. So, I wanted to see what does a reverse boosted lobby actually look like. I know that I've seen videos of. So, he is doing it for signs. That's a classic. <laughs> uh, and I recently discovered the Rick as well on YouTube. Uh, and yeah, man, shout out to him. Shout out to him for being honest. And this is like reverse boosting, but on steroids, essentially. You know, in reverse boosting, you basically have to die over and over and over to get good lobbies. If I want to explain to you simply, for those of you that might be new to this or unaware, that's how it works. You die over and over in the game, so you get easier lobbies because of skill based matching and being so thick. Now, two boxing, I guess you do it with VPNs. You join somebody with a lower KD and it's faster. It's like just like that. You just gotta connect to somebody with a lower KD or use VPN and do it. And a lot of channels are doing it and they're not telling you about it. Wait for it. Other people doing it, but I wanted to experience it for myself. This is the first time and the only time I will ever do this. My okay. first game doing this, I went and got a nuke. I'm letting you guys right now. This is a nuke gameplay. I get the highest gun streak I've ever had, I think, in the past seven years in this gameplay. I'm actually embarrassed to say that I died two or three times in this gameplay. That's how bad these players are. I felt like I was in a private match. This whole entire game, I felt like I was playing private match Crazy. with group bots. That's how bad it was. I'm running right by people. They don't know how to freaking look at me, shoot at me. We are playing six Helen Kellers that just randomly throw smokes here and there. They are bad <laughs> players. Let's make that very fucking it's absolutely insane that Activision is has been doing this for a while, right? Before it was a, con a conspiracy. Now, of course, cat is out of the cat is out of the bag. Activision has admitted, of course, officially they admitted that they do skill based mentoring, and and it's such a slap on humans' intelligence, such a slap on Call of Duty to their players, right? To their intelligence, because just because you're maybe not good at the game, or perhaps you are mentally uh, not stable. Uh, respectfully i mean no disrespect okay just because you might have some condition or you might just be new to the game or you're not good at the game they're like okay now nah, bro you're not competent enough you're not competent you're not mentally stable enough to join the real lobbies so they're gonna be like okay let's give you easy lobbies right now some people would love that some people don't like that some people are like, hey, okay, maybe in the beginning, hold my hand, but then <laughs> let me grow up, man. Let me grow up. You know what I'm saying? It's like one of those things, but let's continue. Clear. Now, how did I do this? Well, I hit up Salty. You guys see I'm playing with a guy named Salty. He's a member of Carnage Clan. I made a video on him actually in the past talking about him reverse boosting two boxing and in my opinion, cheating. But actually in his response to my video, he was very mature, very good guy. And I actually, you know, freaking like him and he's kind of doing a little different content so i do recommend going and just check him out see what you guys think about him but he's actually a very good dude and i appreciate him letting me do this for educational purposes only. okay now, okay let's talk okay. about skill based matchmaking because that's obviously the biggest issue uh -oh. within this game and why so many people are doing this skill based matchmaking is a fucking joke in this game obviously when you launch new call of duty titles it is strong as fuck we saw this it, it gotta go it gotta go and, and I, I if you guys have been checking out my videos i've been saying i've been enjoying my game uh i guess the skill based matchmaking is easy for me right now or I, I honestly don't know because here's how I play like I don't even play Call of Duty I of course play it but what I mean to say here is that like I put a podcast in the background so my mind is listening to the podcast or I'm catching YouTube videos in the background and I'm playing just so I don't fall asleep listening to a video or podcast you, you know what I mean right you know what I'm saying so that's how I play and I have been enjoying my time with it now here's the thing though even for me right now, I would say I'm not the best player out there, but even for me, I'm mostly getting one kill, one death. <laughs> yeah, the classic, okay? Sometimes I would have like, you know, good lobbies. Maybe I'll get an attack, the chopper gunner here and there. But some of these suckers have been getting three nukes per gameplay. 
How is that even possible? Well, folks, you're gonna find that out in a second. Last Wait year, for, for 3, I made videos on this last year, and over time, I feel like it got a little toned down, and it got a little better, especially when they added 10v10 in, because when you have 10v10, you're gonna obviously have less skill-based matchmaking. Skill-based mm. matchmaking is the root to all of this. This is the Yay. biggest issue. If there was no skill-based matchmaking, we wouldn't have to reverse boost. Everything would be legit. It'd be based off Absolutely. of thing. We wouldn't have this fake content, <laughs> this fake gameplay, and all this cringe-ass shit that's going on within the Call of Duty community. But right now, with skill-based matchmaking in the game, everybody and their mother that are doing content, or at least class of the videos, trying to get nukes, all of that, are reverse boosting. Yeah, you have people like yeah, me yeah. that don't do it. But unfortunately, I'm going to get that 2.1 KD games. I'm going to get that 1.6 KD games. I'm going to eventually get those little, very rare 3 KD, 4 KD games. But it's a grind. It's a struggle. It's absolutely just not fun. And I'm not going to lie. Skill-based matchmaking does really... You, you know what? Skill-based matchmaking, this is where I stand. Skill-based matchmaking has a place. Listen to me. Fair way for it. Guys, come on, man. I'm on my I'm on my knees. No diddy. No diddy. No diddy. Okay? Listen to me, okay? I think skill-based matchmaking deserve to have a shot in rank play and public get random fun the way it used to be without any algorithm public matches without algorithm like the video if you agree simple simple rank play skill based management public no algorithm like the video if you agree kill the vibe in this game but i have to say i would much rather deal with skill based matchmaking than do this this was boring this was not fun this to me, the whole time I was looking in the mirror when I was done, I felt like Scumpy when he said this on the podcast, check it out. It's like uh -oh. back in BO2, we didn't have skill-based matchmaking. Right. You didn't have to try to do all these things to get easier lobbies, which I don't do. Hand to God. It's like, <laughs> it's like, dude, nowadays to get good fucking pub gameplays, you have to two box or you have to VPN to Nicaragua or you got right. fucking like, dude, it's just insane, bro. Just and just then like, it's not even, it's not even like, good lobbies like obviously you had some lobbies in black ops 2 that were like holy shit what yeah like it's are a, these are these real people it's a bot lobby but then also you don't see the three hours of me recording before then yeah. where i'm not getting lobbies like that right. so it's not like i was sitting there and just pumping out one gameplay and that's it it's like yeah. i was sitting there for sometimes two three hours to get one game that yeah. i'm like yeah. okay that that's a good enough one to post dude I'm yeah and here's the this is like the mindset that i'm getting from the youtubers and the creators right and you know what respect to the the youtubers that are coming out clean uh, now, for sure, some of you would be like, hey, two boxing is cheating. Some of you would say that they get not cheating. And it's your opinion, your definition. That's your definition, right? What I'm trying to say here is that you got the homie blame truth, right? Openly admitting he's using two boxing, right? The, uh, the homie eight thoughts. Eight thoughts, eight thoughts. If you're watching this video, hey, le let me know in the comments, man. You always be watching videos, but you do not be commenting, man. So the homie eight thoughts uh, is also... Uh, the homie it thoughts has also been uh, two boxing i watched his videos he openly admits that now people that are using you i guess like uh, i guess two boxing and they're admitting i got some level of respect for them i got respect for them just because they're being transparent and they're being honest now there are other channels and there are a lot of channels right now that are two boxing but they would never tell you that they're doing the tick, 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 like that, just like, you know, the homie face swag out there. The homie face swag never even heard of our radar hack, okay? Now, admittedly, I don't know whether he two boxes or not. It seems like he does. But it's facts that he once said he never even heard of our radar hack. So on that part, no diddy. <laughs> that, that is true, okay? But whether he does or not, we don't know. Maybe one day we'll find out, right? But, but a lot of YouTubers are doing it. And this is why they do it. He mentioned it. He just said it. Some days he would be playing the game for three hours and only one game would be worthy enough for him to post. So, you know, YouTube is a game uh, in itself, right? These seconds when I like put out videos faster. I get that. I understand that time is valuable. I get that. And they want to make the most amount of money possible. I get that. And there are a lot of channels that are doing it and they're not telling you about it. To me, I feel like that if you're doing it, and you're being honest about it hey guys like i'm doing it i'm doing it right then okay like i i get that part I, i'm not saying you should do it but i'm just saying i got a little bit I, I got more respect for them being honest than not being honest if that makes sense though I nowadays you, like i could sit there for five hours and just be in skill-based hell yeah and not get a single game or you could two Damn. box one game go 201 and then people are like and then well, i gotta look at myself in the mirror like i'm just a fraud <laughs> Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying. So it's like, it's like they get, know I'm a fraud. <laughs> did you get a nuke on the on the beta? Yeah, one. You, you got one. One at the end. Dude, there's a kid. There's there's a kid that he uploads almost every day about him getting a triple nuke, triple nuke. He'll like what you used to do in fucking Modern Warfare Three with like the double moabs and shit. He'll do that. I'll get it. He'll get a triple nuke. 
He's talking about 2011 OG Modern Warfare 3. Shit, man, where has time gone? I feel like a, such a boomer. I'm pushing 30, I'm 28, guys, sadly. Yeah, where my where my kings at? Where my uh, early 30 kings at? Where any any of you pushing 30? Any of you pushing 30? Man, we getting old as hell, right? Damn, man, time has flown by just like that. Feel old, old as hell, but 2011, amazing times, man. Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 2. Yeah, in Modern Warfare 3, double Moabs, quad Moabs, shit, man. It would not end the game, but you would just keep on going, keep on going. Another round, round two, round three, round four, round five. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, man, Sigus did have the energy and the stamina to go for round two, round three, round four. And I'm and people are watching it like, dude, you're the best. And I'm like, are you guys really serious right now? Like this guy's shooting, shooting people just like crouched, looking the other way. Yeah. I'm like, bro, <laughs> he's not even having fun. Yeah, no, no diddy, no, way. no diddy, no, no diddy. I don't know how people do it, but something's fishy. Two box. Something is fishy. Two box. Two box. Just like he said, I now have to live with myself and just think that I am always going to be a fraud because I did this. I got my first nuke in this game by doing this and it wasn't even legit because of how easy this was. You guys will see in this gameplay, people are standing over one another. My teammate and an enemy teammate were literally standing over one another, not shooting at each other because of how bad these guys skill is within this game. Mm. It's fake. It's phony. Mm. And I just need to make sure that we make this very clear. Anybody that says this is not cheating or manipulating the matchmaking or exploiting, whatever you want to call it, they're lying to you. They're lying to you. My normal gameplay, if you go to any of my recent live streams, my normal gameplay is a sweat fest. People don't just slide by me like that and don't shoot me. I don't play Helen Keller's like that, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe once in a while, I might get one guy on the enemy team that's not all that. Maybe once in a while, if I'm playing with my members, maybe with the skill-based match, get a little toned down, just a little bit. Maybe I play- What? You're so psych right now. You're trying to indirectly say that if you play with a member that he's a retard? What? You're saying that you're if you're gonna play with your member that he's not skilled enough for you to be able to join like a good enough lobby? Come on, man! Come on, man! Hella disappointed right there. Alright, let's get back to the content here, boo. I'm joking around, but that's kinda like he crazy for that. Guys, if you do use Instagram, I would definitely love to have you there. Links are always in the pinned comment. I also got a second channel, Scary X. Definitely check it out. Show some love, fellas. Subscribe here. Alright, let's get back to the content here, boo-boo players like that but overall i'm playing people that have thumbs i'm playing people that don't need glasses i'm playing guys that actually know how to play call of duty and then you got this just joke a total joke people just running at me barely shooting at me from time to time and this and that i don't know why people are out here defending this gameplay i'm sorry if you're out here defending this gameplay saying this is bringing old call of duty back you're wrong you're trash at the game I'm sorry, you're trash at the game if you think that. Because Old Call of Duty was not this easy. Old Call of Duty, I couldn't just get on one game and automatically get on a 60. With Old Call of Duty games, some days you had, or some lobbies were good. Good in terms of like, uh, yeah, noob friendly, I guess. Uh, like you, you would uh, have noobs, uh, <laughs> Christmas noobs, or yeah, you would have noobs in your game. So you would get like a high amount of kills. Other lobbies, uh-uh, uh-uh, it was random. It was basically random chaos and fun. It was, the algorithm was not trying to learn how you're gonna play and it wasn't like keeping tabs on you 24-7 because now what you get is that you get your clones like the way you're gonna play that's the game's gonna play you. No Diddy, that's a bar right there. Write that down maybe if you want to but it's a bar right there. No Diddy. But you're not playing the game, the game is playing you. Essentially. C plus gun streak and nuke the first gameplay. I'm sorry, I couldn't. Once in a while, obviously, if I get a good lobby, I could do that, but that's not how old Call of Duty was. And anybody trying to say so, anybody saying that that is why they reverse boost is a liar. They're either lazy or they're trash at the game. Majority of them are doing this as a job, so they want to have just an easy go at the stream. They want to yeah. make sure they can get an easy gameplay just to post for the little class of video that they got to do every single day. I understand it, I get it, <laughs> but it's fake. It's phony. But and then, then you yeah, got the yeah. other people that are just so ass at the game that they need to be like, oh, you know, the skill based matchmaking is what's making me not be able to play this game. That's that's why I got a reverse boost because, you know, I'm always playing sweats. Yet there's a guy out there with like a. Damn, he gaslighting the homie Blame Truth right now, man. Damn. Uh, yeah, damn. Now, personally, I got no issues with anybody two boxing, though. But, but that's just me. But that's just me. The reason is I don't care for Call of Duty the way I used to care. I've been enjoying my time. Don't get me wrong. Don't get it twisted, though. But. Guys, I'm like pushing 30, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't care to the same degree I cared about Call of Duty like five years ago, 10 years ago. You, you feel what I'm saying, right? I guess uh, most of us are like that. We just outgrow and that's a good thing as well. Uh, but, but yeah, something that I give, what I'm trying to get at here is that 
cheating problem has gone so it's so bad right now it's like either you're two boxing or you're hardcore cheating this is cheating but i guess we can all agree it's not hardcore cheating it's cheating to the point where you're not gonna get banned for it essentially right so this is uh kind of acceptable right now because um you're bypassing skill based matchmaking and now i'm all up for you like destroying activision algorithm i'm all up for that but if you're gonna lie about it in your videos or you're just gonna be like hey i got a 3kd <laughs> and you're gonna lie i mean come on now you, you know what i'm saying at least be honest about it so that that's where i'm at that's where i'm at with it but it's not hardcore cheating because you're not like having aimbot god mode or crap like that essentially right you're basically nerfing your status or joining somebody with a bad status to be able to find lobbies with bad players so i guess on paper it's not cheating but it is cheating but it's not cheating but it's cheating y you know what i mean right it's uh it's one of those things that you can do but you're not gonna get banned for it so a lot of youtubers i guess now have begun doing this instead of like hardcore cheating because hardcore cheats were i mean like oh man for the last how many years <laughs> you know the homie call of shame bad boy beeman he kind of retired right now the homie bad boy beeman kind of retired oh, shit. Oh, shit. he came back recently the the second the, you know it's crazy because bad boy beeman said that he's gonna quit youtube and i remember when i came back with these like cheater reaction videos where we discuss all that crap i remember just mentioning that bad boy beeman just quit and the same day he uploaded the video and now he's gone again and i feel like that once this video goes up on my channel or before it goes up maybe he's gonna have another video out uh, you, you know it's crazy now i'm not saying he should quit or not if you want to quit he want to quit right if you don't want to quit you want to stay on hey that's awesome too uh i i got no issues with that but but point is that cheating has been ongoing for so long that the homie bad boy beeman okay batman of the community finding cheaters finding cheaters even he quit but the cheaters haven't quit that's a bar right there no diddy no diddy though you know that that's the point that i'm trying to make crazy times man and now this is like the new era where you can cheat but you're not gonna get banned for it and also suckers don't care for it i also don't care for it guys i'm trying to be honest with you i don't care whether you do it or not i really don't i wish i could but i don't like i said i'm pushing 30 like i got other responsibilities i got other issues to deal with man if call of duty was the only thing then i guess i would be mad right i would be mad i would be like telling you what's up but right now this is where we at man so cheating has evolved to this level something gotta give man that's where i'm at like something gotta give i want to know your thoughts for sure absolutely but the 1.1 kd and they're actually a fucking bot and all they're playing is just other people literally like around a 1 kd and they don't know that they're asked to like it's just it's just stupidity that's all it is when there's people like me with a 2.9 kd who actually face fucking sweats all the damn time these guys think they face sweats they don't know what a fucking sweat is let me tell you that straight up but i, I just don't get it man i don't get why this is defended I don't get why this is liked in the Call of Duty content creating community. I don't understand how people do not understand that this is going on. This is a joke. I am on a 51 kill streak right now. I'm leaning back in my chair. This is at 1 a.m. almost in the fucking morning, and I'm doing this with ease. First game on. Is this okay? Is it okay for me to just show up in this lobby and just absolutely drop these players like nothing even matters? Is you think that's okay? Yeah. Do you think that's fine? Mm. I don't think so. I yeah. think this is a yeah. joke. I think this is an embarrassment. I literally was so cringed at this performance. Like some people are gonna think, oh my God, this is probably so much fun. No, this was boring. This was fucking, I understand. In, in the very beginning, it would be fun, but over time it would be not fun, right? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, 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 yeah. Because if you're like uh, playing same easy over and over, then it's not fun. This is why Call of Duty was super fun back in the days because you did not know what you're gonna get. Some days you're gonna see, you're gonna go against like TTV, the sweats, the six men, lobby right clan offs and crap like that where you get demolished you get strike down they annihilate you or your ass okay and other times you're gonna be the one annihilating everybody no diddy again but but you know what i'm saying right like and why maybe like once in a while like maybe one game i would maybe want to do this just to kind of warm up but that's what private matches are for this is literally a private match i am on a 61 kill streak i oh don't get it this is boring this is not fun this oh, is fake oh, and in my opinion this is it took me a second to realize what he said at first i was like oh sheesh when he said 61 i register as 
61 ki one kills. Took me a second to realize he did not just mean 61 kills, he means 61 kill streak. Oh, shit. Oh, if you were like, you know, nap watching this, or maybe you're also watching my video while you're gaming. Oh, excuse me, I didn't pay attention there, man. What did he say? 61 kill streak, man. Yeah, yeah, my, my non existing dog be looking like this right now. Give me those woof woofs, bruh. Damn, this thing is crazy. All right, let's get back to it. This is cheating. I would love to hear what you guys think in the comment section below. Is this cheating? In my opinion, it is. Because how did I get this matchmaking process? How did I get this? I joined a 0.01 KD account and I got this lobby. Mm -hmm. Is that legit? Is that okay to manipulate the matchmaking to then destroy these kids that have no idea what's going on? I don't think so. Ladies and gentlemen, I, oh I just am God. so in disbelief that we still have people out here defending this. I'm in disbelief that we even have people out there that enjoy watching. Yeah, I, I don't care for it, but I don't defend this, right? I, I'm not defending it, but I don't care for it. I guess a lot of people are in that phase too. They don't care for it. Some are going to do it. Some are not going to do it. They're like, hey, man, Activision is effing us in the ass. So why not use this? Yeah, man, Activision is ruining their own game because uh, now like people are just going to use this. So what's the point of having skill based matching? I, what I think is going to happen is that they're going to come up with uh, they're probably learning and growing themselves as well. And they're going to try and find a way out of this. Because reverse boosting has been around ever since Modern Warfare 19, ever since like we saw skill based matching, and right? Modern Warfare 19 introduced uh, us with this level of skill based matching, and maybe skill based matching existed prior. I think it did, but not to this degree. I mean, we didn't shit, like we didn't even know there was because nobody noticed it. You know, it was a good skill based matching because some devs came out and said that, oh man, even in the Black Ops 2 2012, even in Black Ops 2, we had skill based matching. Lies. I don't buy that. But okay, fair. For a second, let's believe it. If you had skill based matching back then and nobody was complaining about it, that was good skill based matching because nobody noticed it. People were loving it. Ever since Modern Warfare 19, People are like, hey man, it's something wrong with it, something fishy with it. And of course, something fishy with it, because they have this algorithm in place. You play five games, and these seconds know the size of your BBC, or whether you got BBC, BWC, LBC, or LWC, bruh! These seconds know your family tree. They know your blood group. You play five games, these seconds know whether your girl is prego or not before she even find out. That's a bar right there. Write that down, no diddy. It's insane, man. It is insane, man. Damn. It is insane. Watching this. They enjoy Damn. doing this 24-7 just for the sake of content. It's not content. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, if you yeah. guys are up and coming Call of Duty YouTubers, if you guys are people that are wanting to stream, do not do this. It is not the way. We hit 70 fucking kills in a row. 70 kills in a row. You tell a person to not do it, you bet your ass he's going to double down and do it over and over. So, I don't know, man. This is probably not gonna work. Yeah, Call of Duty content creators are the one that are probably using this the most, to be fair, though. Because they just wanna, like, m record a video, edit, upload. It's time consuming. And as a YouTuber, I get that. I get the psyche behind. I understand it. You know? So, uh, yeah, do you really wanna play three hours and then, like, sit for another, like, couple hours editing, uh, making a thumbnail and uploading SEO and all that? Yeah, right? And then, like, <laughs> exercise. Uh, <laughs> if you have a girl out, you gotta be and take care of the responsibilities, right? Probably, probably not. You're gonna choose the easy way out. I understand. I'm not defending. Guys, I'm not defending it. I understand is what I'm trying to say. It's Joe over. It is over. It is Fanetto. It's Gonzo. Activision is probably gonna uh, patch this thing, or they're gonna double down, or they're gonna get rid of it. There's no other way out. And the way it's going, I don't think they're gonna get rid of it. They're gonna try and patch this. Yeah, I think that's what's gonna happen in the future. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Check out this video on the screen. Nadia, the 9KD queen, the queen, the 9KD queen is back. She was caught recently as well. Check out this video on the screen and I'll see you right there.